Hey everybody, Scruft here. Welcome back to the channel. A really quick video now to end off these three videos that I've put out on a Sunday, which I don't normally put videos out on a Sunday, but we've had the first one that was just the winners from that competition I was doing. Second one was going on about Discord. And this one is just to help out anybody that's decided to support a content creator, a modder, whoever it is you just, you know chose to support by using their affiliation code. And a lot of people like to play on Steam. I am one of them. So I've used, obviously, Giants for uh, Farming Simulator 22. I bought it from Giants and then put it into my Steam account. Um, and I just want to show that it is possible. So if you if it puts you off, like, you know, purchasing, say, to say supporting myself or say you're supporting Mr. Silly P and you've... Uh, purchased Farming Simulator 25, the pre-order, um, using his affiliation code, for example, or whoever it is, FSG, DJ, you know, this is something you can do, and, uh, and it is no extra cost using affiliation code, but it really does help content creators, modders out, whoever it is you've decided to choose. So I just wanted to show that it is possible to download um, and then actually add it into your Steam account and then let Steam kind of manage it with the, you know, updates and stuff like that. It is, it is possible. When it comes to DLCs as well, so if you're purchasing maybe like the premium expansion, for example, when FS22 was out using affiliation code, um, it's simple as well because you don't have to actually put that into Steam. You can just put it straight into your game um, and then it's, you know, part of like what you would expect with the mod hub or something like that. So it's uh, inbuilt then. It's just getting the actual software, the EXE file basically, that kind of boots up the game. It's that what Steam kind of needs so you can add games in external basically. So... What you'd do, say FS25 has just dropped, you'd get your pre-order code, you'd type it in here, you'd download the game, and then it'd just be kind of like on your desktop as, you know, a shortcut and all that, but be, it'd be stored into your program files. Um, so then what you do is you open up Steam. So let's just quickly switch over to Steam. God almighty, that was so red, wasn't it, that screen? It's just got my eyes are just kind of like, boom. <laughs> that download screen, they want to tone that down a bit, Giant Software do, just a little bit. That's, that, yeah, pretty red. Anyway, so... I'm on the store page in Steam now. What you need to do is just go up to games and then add a non-Steam game to my library. So then what Steam will do is it'll look at all the kind of the EXE files, anything that's like a program. Um, you can see that I've got my Adobe kind of program softwares here that I could add in Discord, for example. I could even put Giants Editor in. And then basically you'd find FS25, you add selected program and it'd go into your library. Straightforward as that. With it being a game as well, it's obviously better because it can show updates and you know things about the game itself. It just shows that you've you've purchased it externally. Maybe you got maybe you got an older system that's got a CD-ROM drive and you're doing it that way. Uh, but it can be done, and it's just as simple as that. It's literally games add a non-Steam game to my library, add that in, and jobs are good. And then obviously it goes into your library with all the other games. So for example, like you can see my Starfield here. Um, it just goes like that and it just say FS25 and it's, it'd look exactly like a game and you can, you know, manage it that way. And that's pretty much it. Just a really simple video, really quick one, just showing you that it is possible to import ex uh, external games into the Steam library and then you can manage it through that way, which is the best way in my opinion. I'll, I'll, I think Steam's the way to go. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has helped anyone out, answered a few questions and hopefully it'll encourage people to support their content creator, whether that's myself or Mr. Silly P or whoever else. Uh, but like I said, it's uh, really appreciated by everyone. So thank you, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.